so in this tutorial we are going to cover text concept so you can put single line text using the text command the shortcut is dt press enter then he's asking me to specify start point then I will click the start point then he's asking me to speci specify the height of the text so I will use suppose 1 as a height then he's asking me to use the rotation angle suppose 0 is my rotation angle so you can give any rotation uh, any desired rotation angle so I am giving here 0 then he's asking then you can type here the text what you want to write suppose I want to write something so anywhere you can click and continue the writing so it is not necessary that you can write that in the same line only so you can click anywhere and write so at the end you have to remember that you have to press enter two times to come out of the dtx command so I am pressing here two times enter so in this way you can write any single line text anywhere in the drawing so whatever you have written already that if you want to change that you have to double click on that particular text then you can make changes to it so just uh, double click and you can edit the written text anytime if you want to change the style so whatever styles are required so from this style command you can create the different styles so it is a style command shortcut is st you can also give st as a shortcut suppose if i give st then this is a style creation dialog box so by default annotative and standard styles are there so standard style has been assigned with Arial font so if i want to add you can from here you can change the font whatever font you want to apply that you can apply to that style suppose i will keep standard with Arial as it is and to create our own new style you have to click on this button new then give any name to the style suppose i will keep style one as it is then you have to give the name of the font suppose i will take a dark font Arial black then say apply close so if now i want to change the style of this text to style one then just select the text and click on this toolbar and say style one so in this way and to come out press escape so in this way you can change the style of text and if you want to change the height then you can give the properties command from here so pr is the shortcut so it is showing me this dialog box so what your uh, for the text for which text you want to change the height just select that text and from your text section you can change the height so the this properties command is a versatile command from this command you can change the content you can change the style you can change the justification and you can change the height suppose i want to make a height of 1.5 so in this way you can change the height using properties command you can also change the width factor so width factor will be a length it will only change the length wise suppose if i make the width factor of 0.5 then that text will be compressed if I make the width factor of 1.5 then that text will be stretched so height will remain the same only length will change so normal width factor is 1 so you can ch also change the oblique angle so that will make it italic whatever oblique angle you want to give that you can give so that will make the text italic you can also change the rotation angle suppose I want it to read in 30 degrees so in this way you can change the rotation angle also so in this way you can uh, make use of properties to control different properties you can come on top this command by pressing escape and by closing this properties window and if you want to write some special characters into that then there are some shortcuts are there suppose I want to write 10 dia 10 so you have to say percent percent C then it will give a symbol of dia to you suppose I want to write some 50 degree so you have to say percent percent d then it will give the degree symbol if i want to combine plus and minus then you have to give percent percent p so in this way you can give different symbols if i uh, if you want to underline some text then you have to give percent percent u for that so in this way you can do the underline so in this way you can use the single line text command and if you have multiple text 
multiple line text then you can say draw text multiple line text is there or from this uh, toolbar you can directly select that this draw toolbar at the bottom mul uh, multiple line text is there in the draw toolbar from there you can take that multiple line text then he is asking me specify first corner so you just define the area in which you want to write the text so i will just uh, then here you can directly uh, type the text what you want to write suppose i want to write some notes here so you can directly type here by selecting like a word software you can use this multi line text so by selecting the text you can either select change the style suppose i want to change the style to standard so normal style without uh, selection you can apply the style if you want to apply the specific settings to a selected text then you can directly select that text and from here you can apply anything suppose i want to make it black then i can change the text type from here then i can make it bold italic underline overline i can undo also if uh, some mistake has been done you can undo and redo is also available you can, from here you can apply any colors you want desired colors then you can apply the alignment also center align right align justify left align then you can control the line spacing from here then you can apply the numbering you can apply bullets suppose line spacing is single then there is different fields also you can insert so field is a one type of automation that will do a particular activity automatically suppose i want to put this drawing one dot dwg here the file name drawing file name so i will say drawing file name and then i will say insert field and i will press the f so that i can go directly to file name upper case i want i want only file name i don't want any path so i will say okay so i have got that file name automatically you can adjust the length from here also you can adjust the height from here so i got that name automatically drawing one dot dwg i will put back this toolbar here again then you can see the effect of this field suppose i change the name of the file to other some other name suppose i give some trial as a name yes i want to replace so that name has changed automatically here so that is the use of field concept so in this way you can use the multi line text so thanks for joining